and uh, okay, that was too dramatic. Anyways, since it's December 31st, for those of you who don't check the calendars because it's winter break, then this is the last day of 2015. And I thought it would be really interesting to do my New Year resolutions and my bears with me today. If you don't know what New Year resolutions are, they're basically a list of things people promise to do on New Year's Eve, but never actually do them. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do it anyway. I mean, for the sake, I mean, for the sake of New Year's Eve, I'm gonna do it anyway. This is too awkward to even be on camera. Moving on. I have them all written down here. Let me see. Where did I put it? Okay. So, number one, I promise to be more organized because if you know me, I'm probably the most unorganized person in the world. Right now, I'm staring at my desk and I'm speechless. So yeah, I will be more organized, mom. <laughs> we go to number two. This one, I feel like this is what every YouTuber promise when they first start their YouTube channel. Oh, I will upload regularly. I will uh, have a schedule, but that, that's what I did at first. But then like, I just film a bunch, like a lot of them, and then upload, and then it's just busy, and then I just don't have anything to do, and then, ugh. Number three. Okay, so before I started winter break, uh, I, I do work out about three or four times a week, maybe twice, and then after I started winter break, I just sort of don't do it anymore. Like, I, I was sick for over a week and I just don't know when I will start doing it probably tomorrow so yeah I will try to exercise more to keep healthy keep being healthy and fit yay number four as you may not have known I love reading books I have like a bookshelves over here and they have all the books I like and well except for the diaries of the Wimpy Kid series all of my other books are love novels and also and then I have these uh, the heroes of Olympics which is like a, a fantasy but still like most of the books I read recently are love novels, so what I want to try next year is to read something that is not a love novel, and when I do, I will update you guys later. So remember to follow me on Instagram and also on Snapchat. All of the links will be down below in the description box. Okay, so take two. So number five was to write in my journal. And this is actually what I've been doing throughout the summer and, the, and a couple of months after school start. But since I think after October, wait. Okay, so this is what my journal looks like. And after, uh, Actually, after September, I just didn't have any, I just didn't want to write anymore. Like, I have been keeping track of every single day from, 
from <laughs> Monday, June 8th to September the 10th. And I just didn't, I just sort of abandoned my journal partly because I finished my journal and I just didn't, I was too lazy to get a new one. And partly because I just didn't want to write anymore, like the last couple of pages just full of nonsense. So yeah, okay, let's read a couple of them. This is my summer activities meal, meals report. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for new ways to start writing in my diary instead of, okay, so today. Anyway, I spent a lot of time play today organizing my stuff. Still haven't completed, but I'm working on it. Another huge chunk of my time was spent on reading. Of course, I've been hooked up on the summer trilogy this week, and it's turning crazy. Jeremiah and Belly were getting married. Yeah, and there's a bunch of conflicts to that too. And Conrad still referred to Belly as his girls, and he wasn't trying to do any something. Oh my god. So yeah, write, keep writing in my journal. Um, I'm gonna buy a new one, of course. It's gonna be one of the top things I wanna do in 2016. And I think this time I'm going to be writing some serious stuff with thoughts in it, you know, like how do I write it so it sounds good because most of the stuff I write in here, it's just like writing without thinking. Well, of course with thinking, but I never make, I never trying to make, I never try to make my diary looks good i never like put effort in writing it but like think of it this way when i grew up and i became like a famous youtuber and then like one day i decided to publish my years long awaited diary <gasps> Okay, that's too far. Let's move on to number six, which is also a very important thing. Try not to spend all my money. Usually I don't keep track of what I use, of what I spent money on. So like one day of the last week of the month, I was like, where's all my money? Like they are literally all gone. I mean, I can save money, but it's usually so that I can spend a huge chunk of them later on. So it's not really saving money. And I'm not trying to save money either, but I guess I just want to be more organized in keeping track of my money so like I don't get shocked when it's the end of the month and I'm like, where's all of my money? So number seven is to treat people nicer. I know this sounds kind of lame, but I, sometimes I look at some of the things I've done and I feel like I'm a little bit mean to people, so yeah. Next year is gonna be my a whole new year where I try to improve myself, be nicer to people around me. <gasps> Just treat people nicer, cause you you won't know when they decide to leave you. You know, like. If you don't treat them as you should, like when they leave, you're gonna feel regret. But if you did what you should, then when they leave, you won't feel much as a bum. Like, like, oh, I should have treated her nicer. 
when she was still in my life and stuff like that. So just just treat people nice. Um, number eight is to open to it's to be open to new experiences and have a positive attitude. Like so. So it's like sometimes I want to try new things. But when I look at a thing, I can see so many possible negative outcomes that I just don't want to do it anymore. Like, I look at a glass and I just see it half empty. And it's just me. Um, but I would try my best to have a positive attitude because that's really important in life, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be trying new stuff the following year, so if you're interested, stay subscribed and stay tuned. And the last one in my list is to always have plans, because sometimes I feel like, for example, this winter break, I literally spent all of my time watching stupid YouTube videos, well, mostly Ryan Higa, but still. Uh, like, just watching YouTube videos and literally have nothing to do because I don't have any plans. I mean, I plan to go out with my friends Emma and, and Jane and stuff like that. And then after that, I just don't have any more plans. So, I realized I end up wasting a lot of time before I decided to make this video. So, yeah, it's it's really important to have plans and I will always, always try to make plans. So, you know, you don't, you don't waste your time and stuff like that. So I guess that's complete this video. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below some of your New Year resolutions. I would love to read them. And yeah, bye.